Brother, it's a long road From Hammerstead to Toho It doesn't matter which way you go The miles are all the same But when you finally get there And when you pull the cover off Then it's time to get a little bit lost Out on the lake Big uh, package from Tom Overton and Steve Umbrandt, and from the Bass College mainly. Um, just a big package for helping out with the site, you know, on the junior pro staff. Um, I was not expecting all this at all. There's so much stuff here. We got a lot of Lucky Craft baits, um, and a lot of baits from Piz Customs. Really nice stuff. Also a bunch of uh, Rippin Licks, Rippin Lips hooks and a fifty dollar bill for um, selling Tom some stuff and um, the stuff that I told sold to Tom um, he actually didn't he doesn't really need that stuff he's just trying to help me out uh, for to get some more money for the tournament entry fees and stuff like that um, Tom's such a great guy he helps he helps all the youth anglers at the site um, but if you guys come to Bass College this is these are like the opportunities that you guys can get yourself into. So many good opportunities at this site. Um, it's just no, like no other site out there. Um, amazing site. So Tom, like I was saying, he's a great guy. Um, he's pro staff of Piz Customs. And I tell you what, he should be like pro staff of the century. Because um, he just does so many great things for Piz Customs. You know, promoting them by sending me out these baits. And you guys are going to see these baits. You're going to love them. They're sick colors on these hard baits so um yeah tom's just a great guy also steve very nice guys um but bass college is like no other site out there so i'll get a close-up on these baits guys and stay tuned for that all right so here are the close-up of the baits guys you can see there's like i think there's 14 of them there um i'll just show you tom's card uh this is the bass college um card from tom you can see uh, president, he was recently promoted to president because he's just such, you know, like I was saying earlier in the video, he's such a great guy and he helps all the youth anglers, so he's promoted to that. Um, so these are like actually what I bought from Tom. These three packs of hooks here. These are ripping lips, lips hooks, and I got like all these. I like, I was gonna pay like twelve bucks for them. So really great deal. These are uh, three aught uh, wide gap worm hooks. Uh, very strong hook. Uh, they do look a little bit small for a three aught. Um, maybe it's just me, but if I'd seen them first and didn't know they were three aught, I'd say they were two aught. But they're three aught, so it could be just me. Size four trebles. These trebles are really they got a real short shank, which I like because it makes them stronger more stout and also when you're fishing near cover they don't hang down as far and they they won't get as snagged as much and then there's just that in a uh, size six which is a bit smaller um there's like 30 pack of both of those um so that's what i thought i was getting and then um i ended up getting all this stuff too so like i was saying also before the 50 is just for um um selling him some uh baits that he really doesn't even need he was just trying to help out help me out for uh you know the tournament entry fees so really nice guy for doing that um sorry if my voice sounds a little off um i've i'm a little sick right now getting over it right now though so sorry about that um but i'll get into these baits now these are all the piz baits um so first we got a lucky craft pointer um that's like the slender suspending jerk bait uh it's like four or four and a half inch and that's like a like an olive color from Piz. Let's see if that focuses in. No, it's not focusing. Next not sure what bait this is and not sure the color either. Um this is like one of the only ones that I don't know what kind of bait it is. Uh but it's like a square bill and it's a big it's like a it's on the bigger side. It's a big crankbait. It's like probably 2.75 inches, maybe 3 inches, but it's real thick. Um, so I was just wondering what that one was, but it's also really sick color. You guys can see right there. 
Next, we got a Lucky Craft uh, square bill. Uh, this is probably the three inch, I think. Another big bait, either two and a half inch or three inch. This is custom painted by Piz. Um, nice color. It's like white, and then it's got like the blue, uh, blue and purple um, top there and scale. Nice eye. And then next we got uh, two of these um, Lucky Craft 1.5 uh, uh, silent crankbaits. This is that color again. Not sure of the color, but very nice. And then this one's custom painted again, like I said. This one's in phantom color. Uh, oh, and I forgot to say, all the hooks on these were already changed out by Tom. So that's really good. None of them are stock hooks. Um, that's a good thing. And then I got these next next two baits here. Um, they're both lipless crankbaits. They're either Lucky Craft, uh, Takahiro Amoris, or they're Excaliburs. I'm not exactly sure, but that one's like a rainbow trout. And this one is that same color again that I'm not sure what is. So those are the Piz baits. Uh, there's seven of them. Um, then we got some more pointers. Um, same same uh, model as that one, just not custom painted. Um, you can see that's like a bluegill pattern. Very nice sock pattern there. And this one's like a chartreuse shad or... Yeah, like chartreuse shad. Um, another nice pattern. Then we got some, like this is a medium diver. Very nice color there. Not sure the brand again. Same thing here. This one might be a fat free shad. Um, but a nice uh, orange and yellow color with a red uh, neck. This I'm pretty sure is a Cotton Cordell Super Spot. Very good bait to use in the spring. Um, it's got one red hook on there, one black nickel hook, but great color um, to use in the spring. So you'll be seeing some fish caught on that, I'm sure. Another uh, Lucky Craft 1.5, but this is a stock color. Um, it's just like chartreuse with chartreuse with some, uh, you know, uh, blue and purple scale on each side. Finally, we got the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the BDS-3. Very, very nice bait there. It's a Lucky Craft BDS-3. Um, also a bigger bait. Not very fat. It's pretty long, though. Three inches, I'd say. Um... Pretty expensive too. Uh, you'll see some fish on this. It's a uh, chartreuse black back. Great color and dirty water. So I think I covered that all. Um, just like to say thank you again to Tom and Steve and uh, Piz Customs um, for you know for Tom and Steve for giving me this stuff and Piz for making it because these are some awesome colors. And uh, I'll definitely be um, buying some more Piz baits. Um, and you guys should all check out the Bass College. Because you guys can be presented with some opportunities like these, possibly. So, thanks for watching this, guys. Stay tuned for some more videos. And subscribe. Brother, it's a long road. From Hammerstead to Toho. Doesn't matter which way you go. The miles are all the same. But when you finally get there. And when you pull the cover.